written to write an introduction to a single chapter appearing in a book, but the conditions are so unusual as to warrant it. More than a year ago, Grace K. Morey, the author of the article, The Great Seal of the United States and Its Mystic Significance, prepared a sketch for a short primer of the Illuminati teachings. And in this sketch, as will be shown by the drawings, it was brought out that man is not only a threefold being, but that he is actually a fourfold being as well. In short, that when he has succeeded in reaching soul illumination, he is the completed pyramid or true triangle. If the student will give serious study to the article on the seal of the United States, he will find that on the reverse side of the seal, which is as yet uncut, there is to be found the pyramid, but with the capstone as yet not placed, and thus he will see that the philosophy of the Illuminati is the absolute and undeniable philosophy upon which these United States are founded, as is clearly indicated by our fourfold philosophy, by the drawings representing our philosophy, and by the drawings of the reverse side of the United States seal. And thus it would appear that the unseen hierarchies which shaped the foundation of the great republic which must some day rule the world are the same hierarchies which gave us the soul science philosophy as taught by the Illuminati. And now you know why what has happened in this country has happened and you now know why what is happening today is happening and you now know why on the reverse of the great seal of the United States are the words Novus Ordo Cyclorum, which literally translated means the new order of the ages, also known, ladies and gentlemen, as the new world order. But I won't let you rest with that shock. Listen to this, dear listeners. Hold on to your chairs, because the incredible admission that is coming to you right out of the pages of this book is going to knock you flat. Reading again from the book. And thus, it would appear that the unseen hierarchies which shaped the foundation of the great republic which must someday rule the world are the same hierarchies which gave us the soul science philosophy as taught by the Illuminati. And now let us look into the future, not far, but just beyond the line. We find that scholars condemn the design of the reverse side of the United States seal, that it has never been cut, but has remained hidden as though it were something to be ashamed of. However, though this appears the truth, it is not the truth. The reason why it has never been cut is because the time is not yet, as the capstone has not yet been set. And what is this capstone? My reader, prepare for a shock. When Atlantis ruled the word, that which is now America was connected with Egypt by what is now Mexico, and in Mexico, in the territory of Yucatan, there is a pyramid in which the fire philosophers worshipped God as divine fire and life in like manner as did the initiates of Egypt, for the two were then one. America is not complete and will not be complete, cannot be complete until Mexico is again part of America as she was in the long ago. And when Mexico is once again a part of the United States, then will the capstone have been set on the pyramid and the reverse side of the United States seal will be cut. Thus you will see that the soul science primer with its drawings is but the beginning of the article concerning the seal of the United States, while the article on body, mind, spirit, and soul is the final thereof. May it not be long until the Holy Pyramid shall be completed, and may it be completed without the shedding of blood. Lovingly given, R. Swineberg Clymer, Beverly Hall, Quakertown, Pennsylvania, July 6, 1916. And now you know the final truth, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know the purpose of the free trade agreements. Now you know the purpose of GATT 
and NAFTA. Now you know where we're headed. Now you know that the middle class in this country is doomed. Now you know that the New World Order is being brought about by the intelligence community and the secret societies whose headquarters are in the United States of America, just 13 blocks from the White House. Now you know in the incredible admissions in their own writing in this book published by the ancient order of the Rose and Cross, now you know that the Illuminati is real, that Freemasonry is a part of the Illuminati, that the Rose and Cross is a part of the Illuminati, that they are also called the Order, the Brotherhood, that they also consist of the Knights Templars, they also consist of the Knights of Malta and all of the other secret societies whose organizational structure is in the shape of a pyramid with a few at the top who really know what the great work and the great plan is and a whole bunch of slathering idiots thirsting after the secrets on the bottom who will never, ever know anything. Are the cockroaches scattering? If this broadcast doesn't do it, nothing will. If this doesn't wake you up, ladies and gentlemen, nothing will. If you don't understand now the 18 hours of the series that I've aired on the Mystery Schools, you will never understand it now or in the future. If you don't know where we're headed now, then you never will. If you are not concerned now, then you have already placed the chains upon your ankles and you have already watched freedom fly. If this broadcast does not do it, nothing will. This is the last voice of freedom. This is the only revelatory media source in the world today. The hour of the time is the only outlet for truth left upon this earth. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have heard tonight is the final parting of the curtain. It is the opening of the last door that was to be opened. It is the final understanding of where we have been, where we are at, and where we are going. It is the light. It is the illumination in the darkest corners. You are looking at the forbidden fruit. You have heard tonight what you were never to hear, what has been forbidden for thousands of years. You now know what the great work is. You now know who is bringing it about. You, too, can find this book if you search hard enough in the incredible admissions that are contained within it. will give you the ammunition and the armor to march out here on the battlefield with me and many others who are trying to stop what is coming. Remember what Mr. Swainburne said at the end of his article, and I'll read that to you again. May it not be long until the Holy Pyramid shall be completed, and may it be completed without the shedding of blood. Lovingly given, R. Swinburne Climber, Beverly Hall, Quakertown, Pennsylvania, July 6th, 1916. And I am telling you now, their goal is to destroy all other religions, save theirs, destroy all existing nation states, save theirs, and shackle the mob. And that is you. Good night, dear listeners, and God bless you all.